There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show. And today we have a graffiti production. Screamer! Ah! Yeah. Wow. Well, there's no guesses as to what this game is. Let's get going with Screamer. So we got a nice animated menu. Uh, let's just have a normal game, shall we? Enter your name. Oh, it's got an entry name wheel. Okay, I guess we'll do this. L. Oh, I just skipped it. Uh, let's go with Pam Town and the Tiger. And just get going and see what happens. Two. One. Go, 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 go! go! Look at us go! We are screaming down the track! Uh-oh, corners. Watch out for the next man! Well, thank you, Mr. Announcer Guy. I'll just crash into that car. Oh! It's high octane racing action on the DOS box emulator. Look out for the bend. Here we go! Oh! Just about made it. Uh, this is very, very smooth for a DOS hey, game. You're in the lead. I yeah. am in the lead. Hey. A new lap record, and I'm in the lead. Oh no, I've lost the lead. Oh, come on, Screamer Man, you can do better than that. Oh, embarrassing. Too much pressure? Yes, yes there is. I can just bump him, and uh, the bumping slows you down too much. You can't play bumper cars. You'll, you'll lose positions. And apparently I'm running out of time. So you have to do the laps within a certain time, otherwise you run out. Whoa, the I love this announcer guy. I have a feeling he'll uh, he'll get very annoying after a while. I need to stop running into walls. That that would be a good idea. Oh dear, look at this embarrassing. Let's just uh, ease into that corner, ease into that wall. Oh oh ow ow! Hey, they're all ahead of me now. There's too many. Oh my! No, no breaking for Lonnie. We Better must continue. Hey, what happened back there? Ah, I don't know, man. I, I just, I, I lost it. I lost it. And we've got, we've got a replay there. Let's, uh, let's see if we can turn down the uh, difficulty level any. Options, high detail, normal difficulty. Aha. Let's try the same on. Rookie. Let's see, did that save? It did. Let's go for a normal game. I tell you what, I think I'll start a timer for this one. Let's try Palm Town again, but on Rookie. I feel confident this time. We've got this, man. We've got this. Go, 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 go! Down the middle, down the middle. Oh, this is much better. So yeah, in order to sort of learn the tracks and stuff, It'd probably be better, you know, to, to play through as rookie, you know, and just figure things out. And I really should learn how to break, but you know, whatever. Number one, just what I want to see. Thank you, Mr. Announcer Guy. He seems to just shout out high octane, encouraging sounds to you. Hey, I don't. Here in the lead. Thank you. Down. Yep. Look at that time. Yep, yep, yep. Watch out for the next man. Okay, you're talking a lot now. He's uh, he's getting very chatty. But yeah, it's a third person driving game and it reminds me of Need to Sp Need for Speed a little bit, but it is different. There's a different feel to it. And I'm I'm very impressed actually. Very impressed. Only one more to go. Hey, it's a new lap record. Yeah. Next tricky. Okay, man. 
it's very difficult to do a running commentary when you are commentating over the top of my commentary. But yeah, music's good. Good quality as well. Feels like CD audio. Uh, the graphics, there's very little pop in and uh, things look solid, you know. Obviously the draw distance isn't amazing. But yeah. Thank you. It is great driving. And you've got yourself a replay there. Uh, play again? Yeah. But let's, uh, let's go for a different track, shall we? Let's go for Lake Valley! Three, two, one! Go, go, go! Still on, Rookie. Let's just have a look at Lake Valley and see what it brings us. Okay, the soundtrack is brilliant. I just want to put that out there. Yes, this is a lot more sort of need for speedy in its design. One, I sure am. Um, whoa, the braking on the other hand is throwing me a little. And uh, yeah, go, go, your car go. looks a bit strange. And a track looks a bit strange when it's, uh, when it's bending in certain directions. I think that's probably a DOS limitation or something. I'd suspect, I might be wrong, but judging from the graphics of the game, I'd say there was probably a Windows version or a console version with 3D acceleration. And uh, Look at that time. this one doesn't have it for whatever reason. But you know, I'm okay with that. I can drive like this all day long. And rather than it being a series of races broken up by checkpoints, it's uh, it's just a, a singular go, go, sort of track. Go. Quite a simple track. Oh, that was a nasty crash. And yeah, not much more to say about it, you know. It's a solid sort of fast-paced rally car racer. Muscle car, maybe. I don't know hey, what they're called. The but yeah, there does appear, I might be wrong, but there does appear to be a bit of rubber banding going on. The, uh, the guy is tailing me. Absolutely tailing me. And I should be leaving him in the dust because I'm getting faster and faster and he's probably not, you know? But yeah, this, uh, this is really resonating with me. I'm not the, a massive racing fan, you know, I've enjoyed go, racing go, games in the past, go. but I'm not particularly good at them, you know? But yeah, this is fun. This is really, really grabbing me. Despite me not having much to say about it, you know. The uh, the variety in the tracks is nice. You know, like just on a single track, you know. You've got castles, green tunnels, waterfalls, all kinds of stuff going on. And that's an easy win on Rookie. Amazing. Great driving, pal. I wonder if we can turn him off. Let's see. Let's exit to the menu. And uh, see if we can turn this boy off. Uh, speech off. Yes, we can turn them off. So there you go. If you get tired of the commentator, you can do that. We'll play one more on normal mode. I don't know about entering my name each time. All right. There's only three. Well, that is disappointing. There are three tracks in total that you can do on just a normal mode. I don't know if you uh, get more tracks in championship. We'll find we'll find out after this race. Oh, look, a tram. Whoa, whoa, I kind of spun out there. Yep, seriously spun out. That was a bad start. <laughs> Applied a little too much acceleration there at the beginning. But yeah, let's just uh, make our way up the rankings. Uh, crash into walls. We don't appear to be dying by crashing into walls, so that's nice. A helicopter, oh my lord! I love the uh, the arcade style spin. You know, it spins you out. It's almost like, you know, those FMV racing games that are on rails, except this isn't on rails, you know? So you're, you're massively spinning out and then, you know, back on track magically. I'm doing really, really badly on this one. <laughs> oh well, I've got two more naps to not embarrass myself. Go, go, go. There we go. We're up up to up to speed. Whoa! Bit of bumper cars there. 
And now we're nearly in pole position for the rest of the race. Let's just turn the accelerator on and dash past this guy. Woo! See ya bye! Lonnie is in control. Alright, you'll note the timer at the top. This adds urgency to your race. I mentioned it before, I nearly ran out of time on my first track. But it's always there, it's ever present, you know, if you're starting to run a bit low on time. You have to get to the checkpoints. You don't have to actually get, you know, the whole lap done. You just have to get to the appropriate checkpoint flags. Look at this guy! Ah! Bumped me off the road! How could you? Whoa! I did not corner well there. <laughs> and I'm starting to lose positions. That, that's the thing that happens, you know, when you when you distract yourself with trying to talk about a game and, you know, race at the same time and you haven't really played it. Let's just ease myself into pole again. Yes, thank you very much. I'm aware that pole position is at the start of a race, not during a race, and I shouldn't be calling it pole, I should just be calling it first position. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong about that, I think that's the case. The grass, as expected, is slippier than the road. So if you nick a bit of grass, you can spin out quite nastily. And this is just a fun arcade experience. You know, stick some 3D acceleration on this and give it a wheel and stick it in a cabinet and you'd have people playing this like mad. Really fun. And well-designed tracks as well, you know. It works within a certain set of limitations. Like, because of the graphics, and the requirements for this DOS game. The actual tracks themselves aren't that large, and they don't do that much, but they're fun. They're really fun. Let's have a look at special modes. Time Attack, Cone Carnage, or Slalom. Well, we'll tr try those after Championship. Welcome to Rookie League. Let's see what this does. I mean, is it just those three, um, or is this, a, is this a different one? I think this is the same one as before, the, uh, the first race. It's just a championship mode, so I'll leave this and uh, we'll go back to the special modes. Let's try Time Attack. And again, you've got the three tracks. I, I sincerely hope there's more than three tracks. That, that can't be the sum total. There's got to be more than that. So yeah, it's exactly what you would think it would be. It's a time attack where you're up against the clock. There's no other cars. And you just have to reach certain checkpoints in time. It's a good way for uh, honing your racing skills and learning how not to run into walls so much. It's not bad. Um, it's sort of a mandatory thing for racers, you know, of that ilk. You had your timed modes. Yeah, not bad. I made it with time to spare. Okay. That was easy enough. Let's see what Cone Carnage is. Uh, let's go with Lindbergh and see what Cone Carnage brings us. Okay. Seems pretty much the same as before. Terrible spinning at the start there. So I'm guessing there are some cones. Those look like cones. And I think in order to increase your time, you have to run into the cones. Yes, that delays the amount of, uh, look at the timer, nine, yeah, that's Cone Carnage, it's like a more difficult time attack, the checkpoints still work, so you can wreck yourself on cones, trying to chase these cones for additional time, but it looks like the timer itself is a lot less, uh, you know, forgiving. <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, through to... Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, but the cones have given me a brief reprieve. Come on, hit that. No, nope. time over. So that's a more difficult version of the time attack. We're up against cones. We have to run them all down. There is a network option. We'll not be trying that for obvious reasons. And I think we'll just be... We'll just play some championship mode in the Rookie League and see if there's any more tracks. I don't know if I'll be able to have enough time to cover, like, whether, you know, there are enough tracks or not. But let's find out. Yes, this is not a realistic racing game by any means. It's all arcade. Like, I've played some where it's all about, you know, the manual gear shifts and realistic car models and so on. This is nothing of the sort. You'd run into walls, you can be bumped off the road by cars, you know, it's it's very much in that arcade spirit. Let's take the inside track here. Oh, he did not like that. But this is what you've got to do to make it in the rookie league, kid. And as you can see, I've turned off Mr. Announcer, obviously in testing. Some people must have complained about him and said, yeah, it's a good racing game, but I don't like the announcer constantly shouting. So they gave an option to turn him off, which is nice for folks that don't want that uh, wonderful commentary. And I mean, who would listen to games with some guy talking over the top of them all the time? I mean, that would be awful if you ask me. Okay, final lap. But yeah, you get the idea. I feel like I've shown most of what this game is already. It's just a case of, is this good enough to last a 20? And I think it is, personally. I'm having a whale of a time. But that rubber banding, look, everyone's caught up with me. They're going to overtake me at this rate, unless I'm very careful. Just got to be a bit strategic here. Just ease away to the first position. That would be one critique I have of it. I don't know if it was my bad driving. But yeah. Uh, prepare for the next race. And you could select a different car. Hmm. Well, we've seen this one. Let's, uh, let's give it a blast again with our uh, knowledge. Forewarned and forearmed and all that. Let's see what happens. didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's a ski lift. Worked in his favour, that. Two bumps and two misses. I need a bump that works for me, damn it. Like that. Whoa, no, not like that. Oh, no. I'm languishing in seventh. That is not the spot we need to be in, bro. Huh, what about it? Oh, no. Well, I have two more laps to make up for it. For this terrible bit of driving. Maybe the tunnel will help. Let's build some speed up. Come on. Ease into that corner. Head on the outside of him, on the inside of him. Yes, that's better. That's much better. There you go. Superior bit of driving from Lonnie there. Just leaving everyone in the dust. Until a corner comes up, then I'm screwed. <laughs> like that. Because I can't build up enough speed. And these guys are very fond of ramming. So I've got to be a bit more aggressive. You know, pretty driving's all very well and good. But when the other guys will just knock you off the track, you need to put a bit of aggression in your steering. I'd be actually surprised if people were watching at this point. You know the way you watch a video and you get the gist of what uh, they're trying to show you and then there's like another 15 minutes of the video left so you, you just close it. This feels like one of those, it's like, yeah, we, we get it Lonnie, screamer, good fun, arcade racer, you don't need to spend 20 minutes telling us that. But dear viewer, I do. I do. Ah, oh, grass! 
Yeah, I think the bonding happens just as they head off the map. You see the little map at the bottom left? Just as they're heading off that, the last guy sort of rubber bands and stays on that no matter how quickly you accelerate. Like I'm going flat out there. There we go. So what's next? It's going to be the third race. And we'll see, we'll get to number four and we'll see what happens. I think. I think we have time. Let's see if we can stall out on this. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I always love doing this. When there's two banks of cars, I just go down the middle. This has been a very smooth ride. Screamer. It's got helicopters and ski lifts. What more could you want? And windmills. Look at that. I have to give props to the uh, race designers. Like the, uh, the actual races themselves uh, are fairly basic. You've got your twists and turns. But whoever designed the scenery, ah, oh, you did a magnificent job differentiating between the various tracks, you know. There is a bit of guidance on that. There's sort of a, a degree of auto steering there. I think the designers realized at the time, well, a lot of people are getting caught out in testing on that. And I just, I felt the control of the car go away from me. It's like when, uh, say in Formula One, when it tries to force a pit stop on you and you just feel it tugging you into the pit lane. It's sort of like that. Uh, might be something to do with the rookie difficulty, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a degree of auto steering with that. But as you can see, I'm getting a little better at the whole cornering thing. I once did the hazard perception test, you know, and I got 100%. I'm very good at picking out hazards, not so good at the actual driving bit. So, I can see when thing bad things are coming, but can I maneuver my way to get out of the way? Not so much. And that applies in Screamer and real life. But we're nearly done with this track, and then we'll see uh, what's left. Like whether it's just going to give us another track, or whether, you know, progressing in the leagues unlocks more tracks for you to play. And whether Lonnie is going to make it in first place, I'm not sure. But driving like that, my goodness. There's a guy on our tail. He's looking to spoil the party. But I think we just have enough acceleration to take him. Come on. Yeah, that should do it. It's all straights from here. Okay. Now, will that unlock a new track? Please tell me it does. Next race, car selection. Yes, it does. So we've got a new track. That's good to see. I was wondering, I was wondering to myself, is, is it going to be three tracks and then that's it? I'm glad it wasn't. This looks like the first track, but at night. No, it isn't. It isn't. There's all kinds of buildings and uh, some sort of theme park there, I, I don't know. There's the good old Virgin logo. They published so, so many good games in the uh, early to late 90s. That 90s Virgin period was amazing. Got a corner coming up. Let's go on the inside, drift slightly, and we're doing okay. Not amazing, but we're holding our own here. And it's, it's another quality track, I have to say. You know, I'm repeating myself, but you know, it's good. And I think I'll leave it there. Now, I'm just gonna briefly head out and see if that normal game has unlocked the track. I don't think it has. It just has those three. Maybe you need to complete the track, I'm not entirely sure. But that's Screamer, what is it? It's an arcade racing game! Which, 
could have been in an arcade cabinet. Maybe this is an extremely good port. I'll look it up after the fact. Who would I recommend it for? Fans of Need for Speed will get a kick out of this. Any fans of those sort of high-octane arcade racing games? Screamers right up your alleyway. Big thumbs up. Really enjoyable. Well put together. Well designed. And high-octane. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at all the other videos on my channel, including a Need for Speed one. And if you like what you see there, you can subscribe. Until next time!